what is going on guys Craig1287 here bringing you some Diablo 3 footage the game has released and the servers are pretty much fixed now if you know what I'm talking about then you'll know what I'm talking about if not it doesn't matter because like I said they're pretty much fixed now uh, I decided not to release a video too soon just because well the game does kind of start out slow when you're a level 1 character with crap items there's really not too many you know abilities and stuff going on the the hordes are not too ample and uh, they're really not that difficult so uh, this footage is going to be kind of late in the game but it does take place in act 4 um, if you are super duper annoyed by even the slightest of spoilers then I guess you might want to stop this uh, but really there's no uh, in it, there's no real spoilers to the plot uh, just uh, you'll visually get to see what Act 4 looks like and you'll see what some of the uh, I guess uh, later weapons and abilities are. I'm currently level 30 and like I said this is pretty much the very start of Act 4 so I'm just gonna show you guys this part right here and I'll get to some of the later stuff um, of the game dealing with the uh, mechanics of things and menus uh, how the auction house works. I'll get to that later in the video, but for now, I fear this part right here is a good example of what you can expect. And I'm the only person in this uh, in this round, so the number of hordes, uh, the number of people in hordes, it's going to be a little smaller. Obviously, the game scales in difficulty, so this is not going to be too too challenging for just me right now. But still, a good example of what you can expect from this game. So here we go. scroll through that all right so there you have it if you are unfamiliar with the uh, Diablo games you probably have no clue what was just happening but basically in this game you do a lot of clicking uh, but less so than in previous Diablo titles because they have improved the uh, the combat system in this they uh, have allowed for a lot of hotkey type of stuff and just really really streamlined stuff with um, abilities and being able to add on uh, runes so uh, just for those that are curious this is what I'm rocking out I got leap on hotkey uh, for uh, well the number key one and I've got the uh, armor aspect to that on there with uh, ground stomp with the uh, pretty much uh, pulls enemies in closer to me obviously the barbarian is a melee character so you're gonna want stuff to be as close to you as possible and there's a lot of knockback in this game so you're really going to want these. People are going to be knocking things way away from you. You're going to have to run over to them. They're going to be spread out, so your uh, area of effect things are not going to be as effective. Um, so yeah, I got Warcry on here, which ups my armor as well as those around me. I don't have any runes yet for this, but it's really nice because cooldown is 30 seconds and it lasts for 60 seconds, so I don't have to worry about it for a while in heated matches or you know engagements uh, since it lasts so long, and by the time it cools down I can go ahead and cast again and it actually generates fury so I can use that mid fight if I actually need fury even though I've still got it for another 30 seconds revenge is pretty tight it uh, activates randomly whenever I get attacked so um, basically in those times when you have a whole bunch of things around you beating down on you uh, it's more likely to trigger and it does damage 360 degrees around you and heals you and then with my thing it heals a little bit extra and I gain fury so it's a really really great uh, ability I mean it's it's definitely very very powerful my main attack is gonna be cleave and that lets me uh, hit multiple enemies in front of me and uh, I got the rune on there that makes uh, those guys explode dealing even further damage so this one can potentially go over to 200% uh, damage um, per you know swing if I were to one shot them but probably not going to do that but the explosion damage definitely helps a lot of chain reactions with that and then my right click is going to be Rin 
Uh, this is one of the very few things that I have that actually uses up fury. Actually, right now, I believe it is my only one. Everything else generates fury. Uh, and basically, this thing, you just use it, and it's going to do a 360 degree attack to everything around you uh, that's fairly close to you. It doesn't have too much range. Um, and it just does a, a crap ton of damage over time. And then again, I gain life. So I've got two things that help me to gain life. This character build is pretty much a, uh, I would say it's a, an AoE and uh, health. So basically I'm a tank. I like to attack a whole bunch of things, draw men attracted to me so they're not attacking my buddies. And to keep myself healed and also keep my defense up with something like War Cry. Uh, war, bleh, war Cry. Uh, so I guess now, real quick, I'll show you some of my items. I got just a whole bunch of junk in here. But uh, again, level 30, and here's my stats. I'll put that in there if you guys really want to know. And um, But most importantly for a barb, strength and vitality are pretty important, as well as the armor. Don't know if this is that high right now, but eh, maybe it is. Uh, my DPS damage per second is 301. And I pretty much am using a one-handed sword with a shield most of the time. I'm not really rocking out two swords or a two-handed sword uh, or weapon in general. Simply because, again, I am a tank. I like to have the shield that gives me that ed uh, extra bit of defense. As well as a shield that gives me 19 strength. Which, again, that's going to increase my damage for a barb. It goes up per bit in strength. So that's handy. This shield is crappy. I've got one that uh, I'm going to be getting at around 32 or 33, so, so pretty soon. And that one is amazing, uh, as well as shoulder pads, I believe. Um, these are alright, but nothing too special. Marines, uh, you know, I, you pretty much just, I'm looking for anything that is strength and vitality. Uh, there we go, strength, vitality, and attack speed. Attack speed, always handy dandy. There you go, more strength, vitality. Not really focusing on any magic find yet, since you know, I'm not really doing any uh, item farming or anything of that sort. I'm just trying to get through the game right now. Uh, this is my main character build, my furthest one. I've got a few others, but this is the uh, this is by far my uh, furthest. Love that amulet. There's something about it: the strength, vitality, attack speed, life and health globes. All around good stuff. So I'm hoping I showed you guys everything. I kind of briefly glanced over these blue items, but yeah. And then scroll down. Here's the rest of my stuff. So there's my items. Pretty good stuff. 